The government has uh, meanwhile described the ongoing strike by Kenya with pilots as economic sabotage and a negative turn in efforts to help the national career emerge from its litany of challenges. Roads and Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen, who this morning visited the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, accompanied by Kenya's top management to assess the situation, regretted that over 10,000 passengers booked on local and international flights were stranded with more than 15 flights cancelled from last night. Now, these cancellations, according to Murkomen, would cost the country's economy at least 300 million shillings every day as a result of what he termed a counterproductive industrial action. While urging the pilots to reconsider their decision to go on strike, despite a court order declaring the industrial action illegal, Murkomen said pilots ought to have considered the country's state of economy and the biting drought, describing the action as economic sabotage. Now, a meeting convened by the Cabinet Secretary yesterday lasted more than five hours with the pilots holding their, their ground and issued a list of what they termed irreducible minimums, including the sacking of top Kenya Airways managers, among them the chief pilot. Morocco men uh, cautioning the pilots against grandstanding to avoid negative effects of their strike on the economy, particularly in the transport and tourism sectors that are key sources of revenue. Now, while acknowledging the pilots' grievances, Murkomen urged them through their union culpa to obey a court order that suspended the strike and allow a committee established yesterday under the leadership of Labour Principal Secretary Engineer Peter Toom establish a win-win settlement between them and the employer. According to the CS, the billions of shillings injected into the airline to help uh, turn it around would go to waste should the strike go on and ask the pilot to call off the strike to give structured dialogue a chance. Now, with those passengers stranded in Nairobi, Mombasa and Kisumu airports, Murkomen, who took office a week ago, called for patience even as he regretted their suffering and inconveniences caused by the strike while assuring uh, them of government efforts to resolve the crisis.